What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am of course CM Puma, wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. Well, today we're not playing any kind of wrestling game. We are playing MLB The Show 17, and we are using our longtime character Jackson Montgomery as the first pitch gets away right there, and the base runner moves on. Jackson Montgomery is in his third year as a baseball player, the first year in the majors. We spent one year in AA, one in AAA, and now the major leagues. This is Jackson Montgomery's uh, first game, I believe. Very first game as an MLB starter. Uh, Jackson is a third baseman. And right now, the Chicago Cubs are the team Jackson is on. We are looking maybe to possibly get traded um we did sign a one-year deal eighty-five thousand dollars um that was brought up by jackson montgomery from 80 uh the cubs accepted that offer made him th starter at third base um even though they have chris bryant which was strange to me chris bryant is a stud um but it is what it is. So what we are going to be doing here in this series is following Jackson Montgomery along in his career as a Major League Baseball player for the Chicago Cubs and any teams further on. As he hits it down the first baseline and his very first game, he goes 0-1 as a pinch hitter. Now don't worry, we eventually do get to start as in the second game right here. Um, actually, the end of the first game, Jackson Montgomery gets uh, replaced at the end of the eighth inning, so that was our pinch hit. Uh, the Cubs did end up getting the win. We had our first MLB bat there. As you can see, we start this game, the S there by his, by his name, switch hitter. Jackson bats left and right. Bottom of the third, the Mets are up 3-0, to zero, and Jackson up 2-1 to one in the count. The ball comes in right back up at the pitcher and Jackson Montgomery ladies and gentlemen has his very first professional major league baseball hit right there first major league hit is a single in the second game coach is going to come out snag that ball we're going to stick that in the trophy case and uh make sure make sure that one doesn't get lost coach thank you hand that off to Cabrera and uh, the teammates don't seem too pleased. They don't care. They don't seem to care about old Jack Moe. So we take a look at the replay here. Shoots it right back up the middle, right between the legs of that pitcher. Jackson wearing number 76, as in 1776, as in America. First major league hit right there. Uh, we see the scores throughout the game. We tweak the stats a little bit here and there. Now, as of the recording of of the commentary we're about 30 games in we're gonna see about 10 games in this episode so those things will change uh, bottom of the six tied with the Mets Jackson Montgomery is already 0 and 2 that pitcher is gonna wind up and bring it down the pipe and Jackson Montgomery is gonna smack it way out there into the corner and right field bring the run home and slide that big body into second base that's gonna be his first double First extra base hit in the major leagues. Take a look at the replay here. Jackson just whips around on that thing, and he knew baseball was better out there in the bottom in the bottom of the fence there. Didn't really need to slide, but Jackson felt like getting dirty. And that rounds out his one for four day uh, double and an RBI. The uh, Mets take the loss to the Cubs, 2-1. to one. Jackson here in the third game, already 0 for 3. Uh, we're not going to see every at-bat. We're just going to see the at-bats that count. Cubs are up 3-0. to zero. Seventh inning, no outs, and Jackson Montgomery going to plate it out there into right field. Um, i got to work on my swinging a little bit. The way I have my monitor, I'm like right in line with the strike zone, so I'm hitting the ball. Um but they're not always in play and they always seem to be early i'm uh, uh jackson's definitely a right field hitter as you can see as that one squeezes through he gets the single 
right there, and the Cubs, I believe, get the win there. Pittsburgh up 5-0 to zero here in the eighth inning. A man on second base. Jackson Montgomery. Is that? Can it be? It does. His very first major league home run, and it's a two-run shot. Uh, this is the fifth game. That was a pinch hit, too, by the way. Uh, Jackson is a is a he's used in the pinch hit role quite a bit. And Jackson Montgomery comes up in a big way. Doesn't necessarily tie the game or have a huge impact on the game. Makes it five to two, but it's better than the goose egg as we take a look at the replay. And as I said, Jackson is a right field hitter, and he puts it up in there. For a lucky fan to either take home or throw back on the field, I personally would have thrown it back, not the hometown. Jackson's wondering where the love is, and there's the dugout. They come out, except this guy with the beard. What's going on with you, man? What's going on with you? One for one, home run, two RBIs. Pittsburgh ends up winning 8-4 to four and coming along. Jackson doing pretty well. Average 286. That's not a bad. Not bad. Here in the sixth game, sixth inning, Chicago Cubs up 1-0. to zero. And look at that shot. Right into the gap in right center. And Jackson's going to turn and make that a double. Again, probably didn't need to slide. But Jackson, you know him. Look at that mustache and that. You know he likes to get dirty. He likes to get dirty. Puts that one in the gap. That was a perfect shot by Jackson Montgomery. He knew it, and the and the Pittsburgh Pirates knew it. That's going to round out that game. Pittsburgh gets the win, six to two. Jackson finishes one for five with a double. This young team is introduced to one of baseball's lowest feelings, ending a series with nothing to show in the win column. The Cubs uh, finished that series and didn't get a decent win. We can't afford to be walking away from a series empty-handed too often. Not if we want to be in the hunt at season's end. Shake it off, but let's make up our minds to fight to keep that from happening again. we got a five-game hitting streak going on, um, so that's pretty decent. Batting average, 263 going into the seventh game. It is the third inning. Man on first. Game is tied 0-0 with the Brewers. And that one comes inside on Jackson, and he takes it all the way to the corner and right field. Gets himself another double. The man over on uh, first base moves over to third. We've got players in scoring position, folks. Yes, we do. Jackson stands there on second base. The Cubs are up 5-1 to one in the ninth inning. And that ball is low, 1-0. The very next pitch, though, Jackson's not having that. Puts it over the first baseman's head, and Jackson is going to get his first multi-hit game. Two for five in this one with a single and a double. The Cubs get the victory there as they high-five and cheer in the dugout. Seven to one, they beat Milwaukee. As I said, two for five, single and a double for Jackson Montgomery. Kyle Schwarber. Two home runs for Chicago, so that definitely put it over the top. John Lester, seven innings pitched, seven strikeouts. Coming in now to the eighth game. Excuse me, yeah, the eighth game. Batting average doing pretty well. First inning, tied up, 0-0. Jackson, I believe, bats second in the lineup. That pitcher is going to bring it. First pitch, Jackson smacks it out there in the left center field. He, he's got. He's mostly a right field hitter, but every now and then he can get it where he needs to be. Thought about third base, but then decided better. Decided he needed to be on second base. Jackson Montgomery is a double hitting machine. The man can hit some doubles, whether they're in left center field or right field. That one splices the gap, and he gets over there to second base. Look at that, one for two so far. Double in the first innings we just saw. Jackson Montgomery warming it up. It is... Two to one, Milwaukee ahead of the Cubs. Top of the sixth inning. The pitcher's gonna throw that. First pitch, we smack it right back up to the pitcher and out there into center field. Jackson has his second multi-hit game with a single there in the sixth inning. And we are doing our part. We are trying to get these Cubbies um, to the World Series. And by God, that is gonna happen. 
if it's the last thing that we do. So here we go, double single, two runs, two for three. Jackson Montgomery comes up. He's ready to get that third hit. And what happens? They decide to intentionally walk Jackson Montgomery. They're scared. They're scared of the, Amer the American hero. They're scared of this American horror story. That is Jackson Montgomery. And that is going to round out Jackson's day. He finishes that game two for four. A single, a double, and an intentional walk. Milwaukee loses to the Cubs six to two there. And Chris Bryant had a good game three for five. So coming in into the last game of this video, ten game ten. See the batting average there. Jackson doing pretty well. Bottom of the first inning since he's up two to zero. And we go right back at the pitcher's head again. And that's a single. And unfortunately, that's going to be the only hit that Jackson gets in this game. He ends up going one for five in the 10th game. And that's going to round out this video, guys. So I appreciate you watching, sticking around. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not. And let me know down in the comments if you want to see some more Jackson Montgomery and MLB 17, the show.